walk out and walk out on the porch, and I saw something moving down in this little field below the house here, and it uh, just looked unusual. That strange creature moved closer along Mark Cawthorn's farm home, causing him to look through his binoculars. He even called his wife to look as well, but the more they looked, the more unusual it appeared. Well, it's something strange, so I'm going to get my rifle and shoot it and, and get a close look, you know. And I'm glad I did because it's, you know, I don't know what it is. It's been anything from a big rat to a... Uh, the legendary chupacabra. And the chupacabra. It's been a mystery since 1995, with sightings all over the U.S., from Texas to Maine. The legend says the elusive dog-like creature attacks livestock, bleeding them dry of blood, their favorite being goats. The sightings and mystery has made the animal infamous, and it's no different at the corner coffee shop and bakery in Bardstown. At first I thought it looked kind of like a dog. But it had a really funny head and kind of a nose that kind of looked like a snout. When I looked at, at the picture, I brought it up close to me. It was hairless. Did you, did you see the picture? Yeah, okay. But at the Humane Society and Animal Control of Nelson County, the explanation of the chupacabra is simple. It's a coyote with mange, come on. And, of course, this animal is not, it's too small to be a coyote, but uh, I saw the photos, and it looks like it's probably a raccoon, or a possum that has mange. It's not a mysterious animal. Well, a cat's got, you know, kind of retractable claws, and this has obvious claws. That, uh, the, the paws are different than a raccoon. The ears are too big to be a raccoon. It's definitely not a possum. The mystery should be solved at the first of the year, when Cawthorn says a biologist from the Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife will test the animal's DNA. Yeah, it puzzles me. I, I like to have an answer. A, lot, a whole lot of people around would too, because... <laughs>